Hyperboy News here to deliver y'all that daily report. Now, Munchie B was on a podcast and he got asked the most silliest question, which was, Where did you and Nipsey Hustle rest in peace? This beef stem from now if you're from los angeles you should already know that the inglewood families which is munchie b said never ever got along even up to now when nipsey hustle rest in pieces said the rolling 60s but anyways munchie b was asked that question and he answered it so let's talk about it now according to munchie b he never even knew who nipsey hustle was or even knew that he was from rolling 60s until he heard what his hood name was which was little thundercat because he said he already knew who cowboy was because before cowboy had that name when he was in rolling 60s he was known as little kev mac and munchie b said he always knew who kev mac was because his big homie from inglewood family's tricky mary kev mac's sister now before Nipsey Hussle opened up that store, the Marathon store on his block, it was known as Sloss and Tees. And Munchie B said on that particular situation, he did a music video and there was a bunch of Don Moves that was with him. Now after they finished shooting that video, Munchie B said him and his little homie Little Munchie B wanted to turn up. So he told all them Don Moves that was with them, let's push up to Sloss and Tees. And he already knew that that area was located in the rolling 60s now according to munchie b he went in there 40 deep and they basically ransacked and emptied out that sloss and tea store and basically ran up out of there with everything now munchie b said according to him that's where nipsey hustle's dislike for him came from because according to munchie b him and nipsey hustle never ever crossed paths now according to munchie b nipsey hustle in his own words put out a fictitious vicious rumor out on him and if you've been following these two you should already know what that rumor was so ain't no need to talk about it but according to munchie b you know his homies didn't take kind to that and they basically went on the internet and basically tried to attack this full nipsey hustle's character and shout outs to munchie b for taking accountability you know he straight said it like the reason why that beef between him and nipsey hustle started was because of him you know him and his homies ran if they didn't go up in nipsey hustle's store and ransack everything you know him and nipsey hustle would have never knew each other but nipsey hustle was on his radar and on his bumper pause because of the incident that they did in his store and that guy that was interviewing Munchie B asked Munchie B, is it true on that story? Because supposedly Nipsey Hussle and Black Sam's Pops, you know, was in that store and he worked in that store. And he asked him, is it true? Did y'all beat up his dad while he was in there? And according to Munchie B, he didn't answer that question. But what he said happened was his dad was so shocked because a bunch of them just ran in there too fast and it was too deep that he just ducked under cover you know underneath their uh, table and according to munchie b nobody touched him now this is where my thumbnail comes into play because that fool black sam who's a non-affiliate you know whose brothers the nipsey hustle took that personal and this is where munchie b was talking about the situation where his little homie little munchie b encountered that full black sam in la county jail now this is why i get black sam his props even though he a non-affiliate you know the love that he got for his brother anybody beefing it with his brother he gonna ask for that fade and he said as soon as he walked inside the dorm you know, uh, Little Munchie B said, I'm Little Munchie B from Inglewood Families. This fool Black Sam off top just said, oh yeah, I need that. Now the cool thing about it is Munchie B's a real one, but he's a Don Moo from Inglewood Families. And this fool Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, he's a real one, but he from only 60s. The sad thing about it is they could have been really good friends, but due to the circumstances of living in the ghetto, you know, they belong to different tribes, and those tribes never ever got along before these two individuals was even born. So what they basically doing is carrying on the fuel and the fire and continuing that beef. And you can tell, because up to now, the Inglewood families in the rolling 60s still riding on each other, and they never going to have a peace treaty, let's be honest. You know, a lot of these gangs that's been beefing for over 30, 40, even 50 years, you know, that cycle is going to continue, because if it, ain't, if it didn't stop five years, imagine how many bodies got dropped within a 50-year span. 
But shout outs to both individuals. Shout outs to Black Sam for standing on business and forever trying to carry his brother's name, Nipsey Hussle, and not trying to let anybody tarnish his name because in reality, Nipsey Hussle did too much for his community, which was Crenshaw and Slauson, and that's undeniable. But y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. Hit all notifications to get the latest drop on my videos. It's Paperboy Newsstand. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there. Gow!